What's going on YouTube? Welcome back for another video on El Truco's Garage. Okay, well, we got some progress going on today. Today we're gonna be working on this motor, getting the head off, uh, the turbo. We gotta get the manifold and everything to take off everything, the, the intake and everything. We're gonna be putting, well, we're gonna try to get this head off to the machine shop today. So they can put in the springs retainers. These, these are the, the spring retainers we got for it. Sold to us by Tony Fuel Tech. We got the timing chain ready. Whenever we get the head done, we gotta see the head. The head doesn't give us problems. The head hasn't given us problems in, in 12 years almost. So we're just gonna go get it cleaned up, put the springs and retainers in, and we'll end up slapping that head onto our new motor with the springs and retainers. Because we're planning to run almost 30, 35, 40 maybe. I don't know how much pounds of boost, it depends on what Flacco tells us we can do um, with the stock cams. I might just go crazy enough to buy some cams. Yeah, if we buy some cams, then, then we can, we can, we'll have to buy a bigger tire. Anyways, so with that being said, we're gonna be, get, yeah, we're gonna be getting all that stuff off this motor. Um, here soon we'll probably be buying we'll probably be buying some um rods for this motor rods and pistons for this motor so we can uh build it and have a have a extra motor whenever if something happens in the track we already took the motor out it took us about in time elapsed you guys watched it, it took, you seen it it took it took like three minutes but in reality it took almost seven hours to to take out the motor, maybe not. I mean, I'm I'm adding on to it. It took about like five, maybe. About. Not even that. The total time was about an hour and forty-five minutes. The problem is, the problem being is that we built the transmission mount and everything. It wasn't built, so it was easy to slide out and bring down. So. We got that problem now that in order to take yeah. the transmission out, now we put know. it out, we gotta take the whole motor out and put it early in one shot. You see, so it was he had taken this motor out before um when the transmission broke. The transmission broke, so we had to take the motor out. But we didn't know that. So we tried to trade we had to, we tried to take the transmission out and leave the motor in, and we didn't know it was a lot easier and a lot more faster to take the motor out mounts, wire harness, and anything else that's, you know, and the motor's out. It comes out perfectly, it has enough space to come forward and, and disconnect from the transmission. And then look at the transmission's hanging there and we can just take it out just like that. So that's a, that's a lot easier. The only thing that's holding the transmission right now, well, really nothing, but the only thing that's holding it from falling is this brace that we have here that was made for this transmission connected to the chassis of the car. So, but well, that's the only brace that's holding that's holding the motor. I can just take that off and, and we, we can drop the transmission easily. We're gonna have everything by the time it goes to Flacco. We'll have the turbo, the turbo tube in uh, next week, and so is the front brakes. The front brakes, and that's all stuff. That's really all stuff we can do here. The only thing, the only thing that's gonna make uh, a big deal about it here is trying to get that uh, bearing out of there. But, I mean, that's, that's what I sledgehammer would just take that off real quick. Um, the bearing on the... Yes. Not a Honda's. <laughs> no, definitely not a Honda's. The Honda's are fucking crazy to try to get them out. But, so, that's pretty much what we got going today. Um, I'll be putting in footage here and there about the time elapsed and stuff like that. So let me get that done. All right. All right, let's get into it.
Okay, guys, so what we got done so far is we got the head off. Everything was clean. We did. We did find something we didn't like, though. We don't know if it was broken upon removal or if it was broken like that, but we did find that. last one that holds the can so hopefully i mean the whole head looks good we checked the valves there's no leaks nothing so the valve the, the head is good now my dad did take off the damn head and just remembered that he put forged pistons in it but did not put any rods this was this was almost 12 years ago so this is a long time ago we were we were actually one of the first people to go to coma motor in chicago. in chicago so and when when we went to coma we had put our first motor in and what happened to it Stop. They cut the crank. I did it on purpose. Tell you the truth. I just didn't want to deal with it. He told me he never worked in imports. He's always worked in American muscle. American muscle. American muscle. American muscle. Oh, yeah, that was gonna be his first info he said. So. He cut the crack, man. It's useless. He was boosting. Started knocking. The minute we turned it on, it started knocking. So, that motor went too bad. And what's crazy about it is that we still have that motor in our parts trailer with that same crank. It's still sitting there. We haven't done nothing with it. And I don't think we probably, we probably won't ever do nothing with it. Um, we cannot get the head today to the machine the machine shop because we don't have what is it that we don't have the seals the valve seals the valve seal we don't have the valve seals and it's coming in right now we are all right guys we just got a call from Tony Futek our turbo is here um we just found out that we bought the wrong head gasket so the head gasket we bought was um, a solid a solid copper head gasket that's for cemented blocks and stuff um we still run water and everything in our block so we gotta buy one with the holes so that for the so the water can go through the the block um so we're gonna go off to his shop we're gonna go off to his shop we're gonna pick up the turbo we're gonna uh, see if he has any of those um cam caps that, that hold the cams in and um uh that so that the turbo the new head gasket and that should be it all right, guys, we made it here to um, Tony Fuel Tech Shop, TRS Motorsports. Um, I did not know All Star Motorsports was right next to the shop. Right now, they're tuning a uh, S2000. So, I'm pretty sure you guys seen my 2010 Toyota Corolla. She's nice. But we're going to get in, we're going to get the turbo, and we're going to get out. See you later. You want to handle that power, man? Yeah. Yeah, Let's see. Damn. All bearing. Three hours later. All right, guys. We just made it back from uh, Tony Field Tech shop. Uh, we came back. We got the turbo like you guys seen already. We got that. And we also uh, changed out that uh, other gasket. We got the right one that we need. So it's uh, we it's comedic. I knew I knew it was a comedic gasket that we have to put on there. Right, put it on the back. Yep, there it is right there. You see how it has the holes and everything for the water to flow through? Yeah, that's the one we need right there. So Oh, 
Oh, another thing. Um, we sent our uh, manifold and our back housing for the turbo to go get, um, is it powder coated? It's not powder coated, they call it some other kind. It's, it's a special kind of, it's yeah. a special kind of coating though, uh, for high heat. So instead of that being all rusted and really nasty, now it's gonna be a nice, nice black. I mean, we don't need no nice things in this car, but it, it was a good price that they gave us, so we might as well do it. I mean, it's gonna be behind this bad, big monster right here, so I mean, that's a big upgrade. Where's the old one? <laughs> oh shit. That is um Whoa Hell yeah. Oh man, we're gonna be making ball bearing. Some... Ball bearing too. We're gonna be making some dank now. Mm -mm. I'm not even gonna tell the car. Are you ready? I gotta tell myself am I ready. Holy shit, that is no joke right there. Like, share, subscribe. Come on, come on, I got it. <laughs> well, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment.